What is going on ladies and gentlemen? We are back again with another 90 day fiance update video and this one is all about Pedro and Chantel. But before we get into it, let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel. Well, of course, you will get early access to content. A big shout out to every single person that is a member of Patreon, where you get yourself extra content that is unrestricted and also cannot be seen on YouTube. And also at the same time, let's give a big massive shout out to every single person that is a subscriber. And of course, by subscribing yourself and turn on the notification bell means you'll be notified and kept up to date with all of my videos, which is absolutely awesome if you ask me. But hey, let's get into this video. Now, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, let's just get straight in the deep end. The question that people need to know, the, the question that everyone's been asking, everyone's been wondering, will Pedro lose his green card after the divorce? Is the divorce going to be an impact on his stay in the United States of America? Well, the answer is quite simple. The answer is no. But can he be deported? Can he lose his green card? Yes, he can. The question is how? And that is what we're about to break down based on all the information that we have accumulated so far since we've since it was announced that these two are now going through a divorce. Now, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, let's run down some of the ways Pedro could lose his green card. One would be committing a crime. And two is if he was to abandon his residency. Now, here's the thing that we know he hasn't committed a crime at this moment in time. And we know he hasn't abandoned his residency. But, 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 but. At the same time, though, Chantel is responsible for him, regardless of the divorce or not. She is responsible for Pedro financially, and I believe she's, she, she signed a binding contract with the government, okay? And the binding contract was 125% of financial assistance towards Pedro. Which does bring the question, though, knowing that she's going to be 125% financially, uh, um, financially responsible for him in assistance, does that answer the question of why she took out the 257K out of their joint account and kept it to herself and made the whole account with her and her sister? Well, that is a question right there that we may be able to answer, but may not be a bad answer. But this is the one that I really wanted to dive into. And that is Chantel has come out to accuse Pedro of auditory, domestic violence. She is claiming that he has been, he has been abusive towards her. And because of that, is that something that Chantel, one, is saying because it is generally true, or two, saying it because she wants to put a crime behind his name, so therefore he would lose his green card. Now, here's the thing, though. Let's run the narrative of why would she lie? Why would she want him to lose his green card? Well, here's the thing. In a clip shown, Chantel comes out to ask Pedro, did you use me for the green card? Is that what this was all about? Did you cheat on me? Have you been cheated on me? And we do know that there's been, a, and we do know that throughout the last season, season four, right now, which we're still watching, my apologies, we know that he's spent a lot of time with his co workers, which now turns out to be one co worker, especially in the last episode. And each time he goes out for his, light, for, for, for his late nights with his co worker, he comes back home, and all he wants to do is complain and complain and complain. Now, here's the thing, though. I do know that when Pedro was first in the state and he was unable to work, he did do his fair share around the house, give or take, which is something that people are bringing up. But the fact is, though, he's now in a situation where he's working, Chantel's working, and there now needs to be a new balance. What happened in the past when he wasn't working because he couldn't isn't really relevant to what's happening now because either way, just because he's working now, it doesn't mean that he should then put all the pressure on Chantel when she's also working anyway. Let's not forget that. So, therefore, the relationship was meant to develop into a new compromise of how we're gonna maneuver the house, how we're gonna keep it clean, how we're gonna how we're gonna spend time together, when are we gonna be ha have our time? But we know that since Pedro has been working, he has neglected spending time with Chantel. He has neglected doing any housework that he would generally do with Chantel, and all he has done is put everything on her. And when she's been unable to do it, he has told her off. And even when she's been able to do it, he has still told her off. And because of these attitudes, these are attitudes that have shown a massive drift from Pedro away from Chantel. He's even stopped, he even stopped having intercourse with her for months upon end. And throughout that time, people have had that speculation. Chantel's had that speculation. Is it because he's already got his pipe in someone else's hole? <laughs> that's, that's all messed up. So this is where it comes down to what is happening right now. What is happening right now with the divorce? 
Is Chantel now trying to ruin everything that Pedro believes that he worked for in terms of potentially using her for the green card? Is she now onto him? So she's now trying to find avenues of how she could get this guy put back, uh, um, um, sent back home rather than him staying in the States. And also if he's deported, it would one, stop her from being financially responsible for him. Two, it would basically um, say that he wasted his whole time trying to get a green card um, from someone that he then mis mistreated. Or is it the fact that he has been abusive? That is the question, isn't it? But the fact is, though, whether he's been abusive or not, the goal or the outcome, shall I say, looks like as if it's going to try and get him deported. So therefore, Chantel can be scot free from. And also at the same time, though, if Pedro stays in the States, we also know that that means you also have the power to bring his family over as well. And we know that his mom wants to come over to the States and his sister does too, especially the mother though. And this is why we're here right now having this conversation with everything that is happening right now, with the allegations towards him, with the money being taken away. Is there now a game plan to see if there's a way to get him deported? Because of course he can't get deported from just the divorce itself alone. Nonetheless, though, if there's anything that I've missed that you feel like you can add in to continue what I'm saying here or to go against what I'm saying here, please let me know in the comment section. But understand this, ladies and gentlemen, I am just bringing factual things and just putting them together and saying this could be the angle. So the question is, though, is the mission to get him deported? But the, and also, is it to get him deported on, based on lies? Or based on the truth the lie could be that no he has not been physical towards her or the truth is yes he has been physical towards her and something needs to be done and it's also because he's been not necessarily caught cheating you know i've said a thing i don't want to repeat myself my apologies i i have a habit of doing that <laughs> but nonetheless though you guys let me know what you're thinking in the comment section and we'll talk about it like subscribe and peace